What is up, everybody? How's it going? Hopefully, you guys are doing well and enjoying life. In today's video, I will be discussing all the recent news that has been happening with PlayStation and gaming in general. Um, of what I noticed and what kind of like my thoughts on it are. So I'm going to be sharing a bunch of different news stories and my opinions on it, what I think of it, and just kind of like what's been going on. Kind of similar to uh, Mystic's Friday reviews of like what's going on on his PlayStation side, if you've ever seen his videos. Um, but I'm going to be doing that format. So I'm going to first off by saying that I recently got one pickup for the PS4. This game has been on my list for a long time. Um, I saw it release on PC back in the day. It had a release in 2014. Um, but that game is Subnautica Below Zero. Um, great game. Here's the back. Um, Brave the Cold. Um, yeah, it was a game I saw. It was kind of like an extension of Subnautica, but a new game, and I kind of agree with all of the philosophy, how this should be a separate game, not a DLC. Um, it just works that way. So, I love this idea of, like, under the water, whole cold, new monsters, everything about it. Um, they added, I, I put a little bit of it, they added, oh, what can I say? They added new items for, like, building and um, new crafting items, new mechanics. Um, so I think it was a really great idea um, of the stuff they added. And so that was my recent pickup. I did pick up also Jedi The Fallen Order. I did play it on the PS4 once. Um, and then I do have it on EA Play, but I also wanted to pick up the disc version. It was a bit of a scratched. I did get it from Gamefly. Same with Subnautica. Um, they were on sale, but Jedi the Fallen Order was a little bit too scratched, so I'll be returning that and just getting a refund. I could pick up the game later. Also, I got the PS4 version. I might get PS5 version when it's um, cheaper, um, so I, I just might do that. But as far as the only game I got, it was uh, Subnautica Below Zero. All right, so on to the next news story is that God of War... Is going to be releasing on PC now. I'm I'm fine with this. I'm not a huge PlayStation fan and like not very skeptical about this, but I'm just like it's fine. It's been out from 2018. Many people who wanted to see the game watch game plays of it. So um, I mean, it's it's a great game. I played it in 2018. I think I platinumed it. I think a year later or something like that in 2019. No. I, did it come out in 2017 or 2018? I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, it was a great game. I plotted a bit, um, and I think the PC players deserve to get it. And um, that we're going to see more playthroughs of it. It's just going to brighten up the game. And when I'm fine with um, PlayStation 4 games releasing eventually. Um, on PC. Now, I don't want it like a year or two afterwards, but I want it like a good amount of time so that the PC players that do want to get into it have the chance eventually to get it. Now, I love that it has the PlayStation exclusive access once the game releases. For example, let's take Spider-Man, for example. I don't know if it's on PC or not. I don't think it is. Um, but that game releases, and it's a great game. It, and PlayStation has the full access to it. Um, you get to experience everything. And P PC players that do want to play it do have to buy a PlayStation. That's how it works, especially on release. Um, and I've seen this with many other titles as well. Let's take um, Russian Clink Rift Apart, for example. Amazing game on PS5. If you want to play that, you can't play it on PC. You have to buy a PS5. So I've seen many streamers... Um, and esports players will go out and buy a PS5 just to play these titles, and I think that's very fair. And so I think these titles, PlayStation titles, should release on PC later down the line. I think that um, they they should finally get their spotlight on the PC market later in time, and then. Um, it can finally blossom and it can have the proper mods, the proper support, um, 
and they could just have fun with the game. If you wanted to have the kid as the Thomas the Trank Engine, go ahead. Um, they have the free reign too. It's kind of like um, Skyrim or um, dang, why am I thinking GTA Five? Just have fun. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. The PlayStation games on the PC eventually they should release um, on the PC because they need to live in that game, and it'll just be best for the overall community. And last, so my next news story is actually the GTA um, trilogy, like Vice City, San Andreas, and games like that. You and GTA or Rockstar is remastering those games. I saw the trailer, um, and I think they did a good job on it. They brightened the city instead of old um, 2D, gra- like not 2D graphics, but polymorph graphics. It looks like it, it's like low res. Um, they finally upped up the game and finally brought it back to life. Um, I don't know if you guys seen Spy Kids 3D Game Over, but it's similar. When he enters the game, it, it looks okay, but once you get into the game, it's like much more lively. Um, and so, I think I might buy that. It it really depends on the price. If it's like more than twenty dollars, fifteen twenty dollars. I probably won't do it. Um, otherwise, I just think that um, it's a little bit too expensive if they're going to go beyond that and just wait for a sale or do something because I'm not going to buy it at, at full price if that's more than that. So, and I I have San Andreas. I got it as a free game um, when the Rockstar had a free giveaway of that game. Um, I played Vice City Stories. I haven't played the other ones. I've seen... One, I think I've seen Andreas. I think that was the one I saw a, a playthrough of. Um, but I haven't really played them. And old folks like myself, um, they didn't really experience that type. Like, yeah, I could have played it, but I was a kid and my parents didn't let me. So it will finally give me the chance to play it in the future. So those are kind of like my thoughts on that, on the GTA trilogy and the remastered edition. And I just think that I'll buy it under the proper circumstances. And so the next story I want to talk about moving on from that is a little big planet content. Um, in the news recently, they announced that in Little Big Planet Three, they will be releasing all the G- um sorry not GTA, Little Big Planet One and Two DLC content that includes like costumes, building materials, everything that you didn't have the chance to unlock in Little Big Planet One and Two, they're now giving away for free, which I think is very very fair, um, because those servers are down, you can't really get any, and so I feel like. It's just a way to say thank you for playing the games, and I did play Little Big Planet One and Two, um, so I got a lot of stuff in there. Um, but I'm glad they're given the chance to get it in Little Big Planet Three, and I have redeemed that content. I still have yet to actually experience that. I still need to beat Little Big Planet Three. Um, it's a little bit different game than One and Two, not as great, but um, it's still a great game. So I need to finish that. And moving on from Little Big Planet is Uncharted. As many people know that they are making a, un, sorry, not Uncharted, Last of Us, and Uncharted, sorry. I'm going to be talking about both movies. So I'm mostly going to be talking about um, these movies in terms of like their production. Um, I know Tom Holland is starring with Mark Wahlberg in Uncharted, and they're going to be doing that. And The Last of Us, I forgot who plays it but they're it's going to be really good they launched the, the uncharted trailer i'm not watching that um well i don't like trailers um so i'm going to be um experiencing it full on i don't know i don't know who's going to be producing it i want to say it's hbo but i could be wrong but it, it might be good in terms of like a good launch um i just have to see but otherwise i'm excited for those movies it, it has a lot of stuff um, that it has in terms of content, in terms of like the games. So I feel like if they base it on the games, they will do well because the games have a really good story, um, good visuals, and they have a, a good base reference to go off of. 
And so especially Uncharted, there's a lot of, un, a lot of content there. And so going on from the Uncharted and, um, sorry, Uncharted and Last of Us movies, or not movies, TV shows, my bad, is the PS5 orders. And these have been sparking up in the past week. I've seen a lot of them. PS Direct, I think I saw Best Buy, One Target, Bio, it was unconfirmed. Um, and I saw a lot of them popping up this week, mostly around 11 to 2 every every day. Um, and I was in the queue for one, but then it sold out by the time I actually got to the order page. So, yeah, it, I, I like that. It's They're producing more PS5s. I don't know how many um, they're going to keep on selling or how many units they still have made and how many they still have to make. But they're... They've been doing a good job releasing them, and I think that if they keep on this track eventually in maybe six months, 85% of the population is going to have one, and um, scalper, I, you can see it, scalper prices are going down, it's at 1000 it's like 800 or 700 or something like that, and so you can tell that these prices are going down, the demand is going down, therefore the price is going down. So eventually we're going to see this trend in the future where um, eventually everyone's going to have one. Now, I do have suffered coil wine with my P PS5. Um, so, yeah, um, it, it sucks. It really sucks. I know I can wear headphones, and I've been investing in better headphones to play it. And so... I might have a better gaming experience overall, um, just by with the headphone experience and stuff like that. But overall, um, I'm glad they're making these PS5s available for everyone. So that's kind of like the whole news story, what's been happening. Um, going over the God of War release, the GTA trilogy, the Little Big Planet content for Little Big Planet 3 before Little Big Planet 1 and 2, um, the Uncharted and The Last of Us TV shows and the PS5 orders that have been happening. Those are kind of like the big news stories I've been hearing. Um, and my recent pickup. So, if you guys like this, um, you're welcome to share your comments. Otherwise, I will see you guys later. And hopefully you guys are doing well and enjoying life. If not, hopefully you're doing better and tomorrow is a better day. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.